I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water. It's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. This demon exorcist was on the podcast with Sean Ryan, and what he talks about angels here is super interesting, so I can't wait to be talking to you about it, and how they fell, and how God created them. We have a Bible verse that will tie all of this together. Let's get into it. We were just talking about Adam and Eve and Lucifer, and, and so before Adam and Eve, where did the angels come from? Before the created matter of the universe, the stuff that we can touch, he created all the angels in one single moment. But we know Lucifer fell for sure. That's written in the, in the Bible. Revelation says he took a third of the stars with him. And these, these luminaries, we, would, we assume to be the angels. Incredibly intelligent, incredibly powerful beings. We're kind of a hybrid because we're not pure matter, but we're not pure spirit. We are both matter and spirit. So we're unique in that way, in, in the way nothing else in creation is like us. Father Dan Rehill, you're currently a Catholic priest as well as the exorcist of the Diocese of Nashville. Satan is at an all time high this is the most evil generation since the inception of man. Worse than the flood. Worse than Sodom and Gomorrah. Now. Worse than the flood is a big, bold statement. Because the Bible said that no one righteous besides Noah, everyone, all of their thoughts were evil. I mean, we're close. We could be. We could be. I don't know. God help us. And we are propagating sin in a way we never used to. If you wanted to have... A sexual sin, you had to go do it with somebody. But now we can just open a phone and do things on the phone. And Los Angeles is California, but mostly Los Angeles, number one exporter of to the whole world. The kind of things that they're opening up to the country with that kind of filth. Like what kind of doors? With the demonic world. Have you heard of satanic ritual abuse? SRAs? No. And, and oftentimes the parent doesn't even know and offer that child to, to the devil for power, that they would gain some power in some way or wealth or whatever. As people hear that, they get a little angry, like, well, I don't think that's fair. It's not fair. Evil is not fair. Do you think that maybe Jesus is so hated because elites are threatened by a higher power? I mean, with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the demon. You know, you know all those stories where there's the guy with the pentagram and the holy water. It's like, yeah, you sure you can control the demon? <laughs> Didn't work out. The demons text him. Uh, they send blasphemies. They talk about some of his cases. Like this victim is never going to. They're ours forever. You can't have. Them. And they'll try to call that number on the phone, and it's it's a non-working number. Wow. Yeah, they do this. So imagine if they're doing that. Imagine the field day they could have with AI. Like if you if you can't beat it, join it. You had mentioned some type of a reference where you said demons are, are very much like lawyers, lawyers or attorneys. There's a divine providence that governs everything in as much as we can understand it, and they understand it more because they're smarter than we are. If these computers are actually learning, if they're learning and they're gonna bypass humans, that doesn't pose well if they're being manipulated by a side that hates humanity. That would be crazy if demons are like, they possess the robots and AI and just take over. That would be wild. Who knows? Maybe robots are the end of the world. They're like in all of the movies, it's just gonna come true. That would be crazy <laughs> to think about. Elon Musk is making the new robots. There was a period of time up until maybe 10 or 15 years ago that the devil really tried to remain hidden. And his biggest deception was to convince people he didn't exist in the last 15 years. It is all out 
I'm alive and well and with you, and I'm proud to be Satan. Worship me. I don't know why Jesus is so hated. I don't know why he's so misunderstood. I prayed about this and pondered this for months and months and months because he never did anything wrong. If you look at the global religions, of course, and I'm not saying Muslims hate Jesus, but they're gonna, they're, what they do is they deny who he is. Mm -hmm. They say he's a great prophet. Well, he said he was the son of God, so he's either a liar or he's God. He can't be a great prophet because a great prophet doesn't lie. The Jews are still waiting for the return of the Messiah, so they're also in a different kind of camp. Like, well, that's not our guy. But what if you miss the boat? I mean, the temple's gone, it's over. What, what are you waiting for? Like, if you really thought about it, you'd have to say, maybe we did miss this. I think we should now look at uh, Elon Musk's video of robots. Now, now here's a video of Elon Musk unveiling Tesla's new Optimus robots. What a demon, guys, took over one of these robots. It wasn't the robots becoming human, but it was a demon. I mean, like, becoming evil is just a demon taking over. Wait, what did that say? It says, he said the robots will be able to walk the dog, mow the lawn, teach the children, serve drinks, and more. What are they going to be teaching your children? That's what's crazy. The Optimus robots will walk among you. Please, please be nice to the Optimus robots. No way. He must said that he expects the robot helpers to cost between twenty thousand to thirty thousand. I don't know if anyone's gonna buy. It. I mean, people will buy it. Twenty thousand—that's around around a car, and. Uh, oh. That's pretty crazy to think about. Could these robots be the reason that the world comes to an end? So now I have a Bible verse that will tie all of this together. First Peter 5 through 9 says, Stand firm against them and be strong in your faith. Remember that your family of believers all over the world is going through the same kind of suffering you are. So guys, stand firm. Whenever trials, crazy things happen in your life, stand firm in your faith. Remember that God is with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. So I encourage you to continue to just trust in him. Even when crazy times come, even possibly when the, when we're in the end times, God will be with you. He will protect you and uh, he will help you going through those difficult times. So comment down below your thoughts on this, whatever that may be. It's pretty crazy, right? And also, guys, I'm trying to hit 20,000 subscribers by the end of the year. So I encourage you guys to subscribe. Help me out. I cannot do this without your support. So thank you for all your love and support. It means the world. And in the link in the description below, you can click that to help you decide to follow Jesus for the first time. I encourage you to do that. And also, guys, you might like this video here. Peace.